The Husband of River Song is my new favourite Doctor Who episode ever. Hey everyone, so ah, really really very very excited to be doing this video. I have to confess that series 9 of Doctor Who may be my all time favourite series, that's even more than series 2. I loved every single episode in this and I don't think that's actually happened since series 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of very quickly go through the main body of episodes and just give little thoughts. And then I'm going to talk in a little bit more detail about the f final three episodes and also the Christmas special. And this video will contain spoilers, will absolutely contain spoilers because there are just certain things I cannot help shouting out about. So, starting off with Missy, I absolutely love her. I know some people don't, but I think she's fantastic. I do still struggle to see her as being the master. That's something I need to kind of get my head around a little bit more. But starting with the Daleks, I was worried and it was, oh, it was perfect, wasn't it? Then we come to Under the Lake and ordinarily when we're kind of on a spaceship or stuck in one sort of place for an entire episode, I don't like it. But again, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. A Shilder. Uh, a Shilder was a character um, I liked. I like, I like a Shilder. Me? I'm... Uh, me is hit and miss and I'll talk about her when we get to face the Raven. Um, but I did enjoy a Shilder's episodes in, in The Nightmare. Zygons! Wow, this episode feels like a very long time ago that I watched this. The Zygons have never been my favourite creature. Uh, I'm never excited to see them, but because of the uncertainties in these episodes and we never really were sure who was a Zygon and who wasn't, I thought it kind of really kept the energy going. Osgood! <laughs> Osgood I don't like. I don't dislike Osgood. But I don't understand the Osgood fandom and I know there are a lot of people who love Osgood. Personally, I'm completely indifferent. But regardless, I thoroughly enjoyed the episode and I, the, the episodes there and I thought the way they concluded was spectacular. Sleep no more. What is more terrifying than living sleep dust? I thought this was a fantastic one for the children because Doctor Who sometimes can be a little bit adult nowadays. A lot of the stories are complex and even a lot of adults find it hard to keep up with them. But this is brilliant. It's something so simple and yet so refreshing and that music, my goodness I was hearing it for about two weeks afterwards. Uh, but yeah, again, thoroughly enjoyed it. Face the Raven was shocking. Now I somehow managed to avoid all spoilers and I was really far behind with watching these. Only this morning, and it is the 3rd of January, did I watch the Christmas episodes. Uh, Face the Raven I thought was exquisite. Clara's death was insane. The way she responded was so Clara and there are times, particularly in series 8, when I never really liked Clara. Nothing against Jenna Coleman, I think she's a fantastic actress, but Clara as a character for me was hit and miss. Not in series 9. Loved her and I thought her ending there was so powerful and so well done. The fact that we had all these different creatures coming together, I always, always love that. You know, we have the Sidemen and the Daleks and it just and uh, the Centauran, I believe, were there. So beautiful. Heaven Sent was probably my favourite Doctor Who script in terms of the intricacy. It was so full on, so intense, I don't think anybody could have seen how that concluded. I don't think we could have seen that coming at all. There is nothing I can say that will describe this episode if you haven't seen it, which I'm hoping you have seen it. Um, truly, truly phenomenal. And the only, the only thing that I have to say is, why didn't he leave a note to himself to say, use the shovel, use the spade to get at the hard diamond stuff. Don't use your fist, that's gonna hurt. Um, so maybe if you'd used the edge of a spade, he would have got through that maybe a, a couple of million years sooner. <laughs> but it, it was absolutely incredible. Uh, and then the final episode of the series, we get to see a very big different side of the Doctor here. And obviously we still get Clara, which is, is wonderful. Me in this, I just, I don't like me. Every time a character says me in kind of the, the final few episodes, I thought, well, are you on about yourself? Are you talking about me? And when the Doctor says the hybrid is me, perhaps as an audience we were meant to think, oh, the Doctor's the hybrid. But my brain automatically went, oh, so Shilder is the hybrid, which we kind of knew. Um, but the fact that that was never fully concluded, again, we don't really know who the hybrid is. That's still not been like 100% revealed. It's still speculative. It leaves doors open. Right, Christmas episode. I make a really big confession here and this is something that I hope I don't regret saying out loud. 
The Husband of River Song is my new favourite Doctor Who episode ever. The Husband of River Song is my new favourite Doctor Who episode ever. I can say it again and again and still it's not going to sink in yet. It beats Doomsday, hands down. And some people didn't like it from what I read, but I love it. I mean, I'm a die-hard River Song fan. I love her more than anything. But I just thought the humour in this was fantastic. The development of the story was great. It was very, very funny. Uh, Matt Lucas and Greg Davies were absolutely brilliant. And I just cannot praise this episode enough. And then the final kind of 10 seconds were just so heartbreaking. Uh, and I don't think that's the end of River Song. It can't be. It, I refuse to believe that that is the end of River Song for us. But I, ju I just... Ah, brilliant. Absolutely love it. Truly phenomenal. The Husband of River Song is my new favourite Doctor Who episode ever. Thank you for watching this video. Um, as you may know, with series 8 and series 7 and 6 and maybe 5 as well, I was just... Watching Doctor Who was almost a chore because just spoilers were everywhere and things. And I kind of started doing series reviews rather than individual episode reviews. But after this one, I'm really considering doing individual episode reviews for the for the 10th series. So if that is something you would like, do let me know and I will definitely consider it. Thank you for watching this very long, rambly, overexcited video and uh, I will speak to you all soon. Bye!